Yet again, another sick police individual who can't keep their grubby trotters to themselves as we head over to Manchester to meet PC Paul Banks. He has faced a misconduct hearing for having an improper relationship with a vulnerable woman who he had met through his duties. A relationship which was clearly wrong from the beginning as Banks told the woman to set up a new email account in which he could access explicit videos and images that she had sent to him. Now I'm not sure what the nature of those images were but it seems it wasn't of her as he was also reprimanded for not reporting the explicit images and videos which would lead me to believe they were not normal naked selfies for example. Allegedly it was his own colleagues who discovered what was going on and reported him for his actions. Well done to those who reported him. I will always respect those who put the public first over their sick twisted colleagues. Banks faced his misconduct hearing on January 24th and 25th in which it was determined that he was guilty of breaching professional standards to the level of gross misconduct and was dismissed. He had been under investigation since December 2020 and had been on suspension since then. That's somewhere in the order of £50,000 wasted of public money whilst he was on paid leave. Detective Chief Superintendent Michael Allen, head of Greater Manchester Police's Professional Standards Department, said Banks had abused his position of trust and that there was no place in Greater Manchester Police for people like him. Adding, Banks knew full well that his conduct was egregiously wrong by cultivating an improper relationship with a vulnerable member of the public who he met in the course of his duties, the officer has been deservedly sacked from Greater Manchester Police. Not only has he disgraced himself, but he did his depraved behaviour dishonours policing and undermines the principled endeavours of his colleagues who every day do a valiant job catching criminals and protecting our communities. No decent member of the police service wants to work with the likes of Banks and there will never be a place in Greater Manchester Police for anybody who abuses like him. He abuses his position of trust and for that the Office of Constable has been rightly stripped from him. Well, it seems that he hadn't resigned prior to his hearing, which is a good thing because it always gives me pleasure when we hear of a sick, twisted predator like Banks being sent packing, as we say. Another one bites the dust.